Knives Out is a whodunit style mystery written and directed by Ryan Johnson. You may know him for The Last Jedi, which I actually enjoy. More on that in a video to come in the future, but for now, let's just move on. This movie is really good. It's a lot of fun. Um, I am probably a little bit biased. I really, really like mystery style things. Uh, some of the first books I actually remember reading as a child were the Hardy Boys. So I've, I've always enjoyed mystery. I, I've always enjoyed trying to figure out who did what crime and whatnot. And the thing with this one, it is really, really well done. Uh, all the twists that occur, you either can see coming if you're very, very astute, or you're not going to see coming, but they are done in such a way that they're actually good. Not a Shyamalan twist. I, I can't really get into the plot, but uh, too much. The basic plot is this really old writer seemingly commits suicide, but someone hires this world famous detective played by Daniel Craig to find out who killed him because he suspected that he did not commit suicide, that it was a murder. And so you now have this plot of trying to figure out who in the family had motive to kill him and who didn't and all of that and it's a lot of fun it's really entertaining but yeah that's the basic plot it's trying to figure out uh, who killed the patriarch of this household while it seemingly was suicide like, at the very end when it is revealed who the killer is there's this really funny scene um and I, I just the way that it interacted was hilarious one thing that i actually kind of like about the movie is that we're given all the information but the characters aren't. Every character that is interviewed asked about the uh, murder lies. They don't tell the truth about what happened, so we all know that they have motive, the others don't. It's not really a spoiler that's like kind of par for the course with this kind of mystery. The fact that who did it was so well concealed and I had no, I didn't even see it coming, I thought was amazing. The acting, the acting in this movie is phenomenal. Uh, you have uh, Ranson played by Chris Evans. He's a lot of fun. It was really nice to see Chris Evans in a role where he's the asshole, not like the goody two-shoes who tells everyone else to stop. There's one point in the movie where he tells like pretty much every other mem member of his family to eat shit. That was hilarious. Daniel Craig does a really good job as uh, LeBlanc. I can't remember his first name. They don't say it too much, so... Sorry. His American accent isn't the best, but his southern accent was surprisingly sound. Kind of like a Cajun from Louisiana, Alabama, Kentucky type. So hard to pin down exactly where, but it, the, the, the draw that he has is actually really solid. The woman that plays uh, Marta. The main character, she does a really good job. Uh, the rest of the family does a really good job. Everyone in the movie is phenomenal. They're all really, really good. It's all shot in a very, very, like, very old style mystery type way. The full information doesn't get revealed until the end of the movie, which is, just makes it even better. It's a lot of fun. I don't really have a ton to say about it other than go watch it. Like, if you enjoy uh, mystery style thriller type films, you're gonna love this. Honestly, if mysteries aren't your thing, you're probably not, but it's done really, really well. Now, give me a f second uh, to rag on Murder on the Orient Express. I absolutely hate the way that movie ended. It felt like a cop-out uh, for what we got, for what occurred, where, I'm just going to spoil the ending of it, everyone was a part of the murder, and so he couldn't turn anyone in because everyone did it. That bothered me because it felt like a very cop-out way to end the film by not having a conclusion or a satisfying at least for me conclusion and so that personally bothered me so this one i thought had a much better ending was much better wrapped up i'd say for me this movie rolls a 17 definitely good enough for me to watch again and especially if you love mystery type films you're gonna enjoy this really quick before i go i didn't actually think i'd get this video out this week um i'm in the process of moving i would show you my current setup um, or room, except that it's a wreck because I'm moving, but so hopefully I'll be able to get videos out with a little more frequency. Um, it's not even that I missed an upload, it's just I didn't think, but hopefully I'll be able to actually get more videos out, do more um, different types of content on this channel, but 
yeah, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll try and make an update video once I have more thoughts in my brain about what I want to do. But, yeah. That's all I have for now, guys. Peace out.